Are you looking to celebrate Black History Month? I like to call it the African Caribbean Month instead of calling it black, cause yeah. This week, we're gonna be trying a different project. Along with a hand-painted DIY mug, we're also gonna be including a Nubian princess on it who will be wearing a neck choker. And on Friday, I'm going to do a special video on how to make this choker, so stay with me. For the best creative DIY content, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you'll be notified when I upload a video every Tuesday. I have a Facebook page that is dedicated to DIYs and crafts that you're able to join. Now it's your turn. Now, in addition to making the hand-painted mug DIY, I will have a special additional video on Friday. In Friday's video, I will be making a fabric African choker necklace. Join me today and I will show you how to paint mugs at home while how to make glass paint and some tips and tricks on curing your glass paint. This is a great video to show you how to make customized mugs by using acrylic paint on glass permanently. This permanent glass paint is a great way to learn how to properly paint mugs, whether they are surrounded porcelain or, or glass. So in order to cure your, for myself it's my clay, my Mod Podge and some of the paint, I put it in the oven at 200 and I leave it in there for two hours or an hour and a half and that I find works. I use that standard oven time and oven temperature for everything that I use, the Mod Podge, the uh, clay. So that's what I continue with the glass. Now I did switch up this specific piece because I decided not to put the glass paint on it but I'm going to show you how to do it quick DIY glass paint if you don't have any one of the things I would recommend is don't put your glass piece on your wrap put it on something so use a cookie sheet To make your own glass paint, there's only two ingredients that you need. You're gonna use food coloring, okay? and then you're gonna use any clear glue. And I'm only doing a little bit. I told you that I, I changed my mind, but I wanna show you how to do it. Because it's so small, I'm gonna use a little bit less. Now you can bake it. What you want to do to make it water water resistant is you can buy the dishwasher safe Mod Podge and put it on there. Or in Canada, we have these little epoxy kits at the dollar store here and you can buy that and put it over top it depending on what you're going to make from this. So I made some mistakes with this one. I went and dried it flat instead of drying it on the mug. So what I did was I added some additional clay around it. So I'm going to just carve it out now. So comment down below if there's anything special or different that you're going to be doing this Black History Month to celebrate our culture.
Now that you know how to create a hand-painted mug DIY with something special to celebrate Black History Month, I have written a nine-page designing platform guideline that will allow you to take your creative juices out of your head and put them on a digital platform. I have included tutorials to assist you with your learning. Download the guide at the link in the description box. Also, are you interested in joining a group of creative minds like yourself? I have a Facebook page that is easy for you to join. Download the link in the description box. Check out these videos next on hand painted mugs DIY for Valentine's Day, hand painted mug DIY watercolor. And check out this video next, hand painted mug DIY with a wine glass. Now, if you like this video, hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to share it with your family and friends.